to my channel. Today we are doing an apple cider vinegar rinse. I am pretty excited about this because I love apple cider vinegar rinses. Um, it'll be a quick video. Um, but basically, I'm just going to be rinsing my hair with my apple cider vinegar. I'm going to follow through with um, my favorite conditioner. And then that'll be it. Um, you have to catch the styling video on the next video. Uh, just because I don't want this video to be super long. So that being said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Stop looking at me for a second. And hit that subscribe button literally down below. It takes two seconds. And go ahead and hit that uh, post notification bell so you know every time that I post a video. Um, so yeah, without further ado, oh, follow me on Instagram at Sincerely Ray Ray. And then let's go ahead and hop straight into this video. All right, you guys, so first things first, I'm going to wet my hair. If you don't know, I do have low porosity type four hair. Um, I don't really get into the hair typing like that. I think what's most important when it comes to your natural hair is understanding your hair's porosity because that is essentially the ability for your hair to retain moisture or how to get moisture. So basically I take a couple minutes and um, saturate my hair. With this being a 10 minute video, this is in real time. I have not sped the video up or slowed it down. So um, this is my quick, probably 10 minute wash day routine. Um, this is the first time I'm using apple cider vinegar with this routine. Typically, I'll use my uh, Pantene Gold Series shampoo uh, and conditioner, or if I'm not shampooing, I'll use my Coconut Co-Wash by As I Am. Um, and so, yeah, so first things first, you have to get that hair super damp. Um, being low porosity, it takes a minute for my hair to, uh, you know, absorb water. So next thing I'm going to do is go in with my um, apple cider vinegar and basically I am just going to put it all throughout my hair. Um, please, please, please put the apple cider vinegar in some type of bottle because if you don't, sis is going to take your eye out. I learned that the hard way. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going all around my hair with my apple cider vinegar, making sure I'm getting at the roots. Um, and then eventually I'm going to make sure I get the uh, shaft of my hair that you see here all the way down to the bottom. And basically I just do that um, throughout my whole head. And I want to make sure I'm getting everything good and saturated and then... I'm right back under the water with it. I really don't spend a lot of time with the apple cider vinegar in my hair, um, unless it's like an extended wash day situation routine. Um, but I just wanted to put enough to make sure that, um, you know, the, my scalp's pH is back balanced and uh, my hair is clean. Other thing too, sometimes using too much apple cider vinegar, I've noticed can dry my hair out. Um, so I tried to, you know, do it in spurts. Basically, apple cider vinegar, massage my scalp, rinse it out, and then do it again. And basically, I just continue this process until I feel like my hair is pretty clean. Um, so yeah. All right, so next I'll be going in with my Moisture Boost Shampoo by the Pantene Gold Series. I literally love this shampoo. Um, and I like it because um, even after using the apple cider vinegar rinse, though my hair is pretty clean, this shampoo does bring moisture back. Now, one thing I do do, I try to focus the shampoo more around my edges um, just because of using edge control and stuff like that. 
I am going to be so honest with you guys. I don't know if <laughs> the apple cider vinegar does the trick in terms of edge control and making sure my hair is super clean. But, um, you know, just to be sure, I go back with the shampoo. And basically, this shampoo is a moisturizing shampoo. So, um, you know, some of you might be against this because I just use apple cider vinegar as it should cleanse my hair really well. Um, but, you know. You can never be too safe. The other th reason why I go back in with a little bit of shampoo is because the apple cider vinegar, oh my god, that stuff stinks so bad. So I'm like, let me just go back through with a little bit of shampoo. To, one, switch up the smell in the bathroom because it smells like obviously vinegar. And two, I don't want my hair to smell like vinegar. So I do a quick little run through of shampoo and basically ooh, uh, I stay getting shampoo in my eye. but. I do a quick run of the shampoo and basically um, one it just adds moisture back into my hair for some reason like I said when I use apple cider vinegar it leaves like my hair feeling a little dry um, so yeah and it also you know helps the smell of course because that stuff stinks so bad my whole bathroom be like on tin um, so yeah so basically that's what I do and then I go back and rinse it out um, that shampoo is so amazing like I probably between the Pantene Gold series and the as I am shampoo unless you all have any other curly hair shampoo recommendations I do want to try the curl smith products um, as well as the Alicay naturals products um, so if you all have any recommendations, of course, for shampoos and conditioners that you may all want me to try, I have no problem trying them um, at all. But these are like staple products for me. Like they just do and work so well with my hair. So yeah, and as you can see, I'm right back under the water and rinsing. So like I said, with low porosity hair, it is super important. Water is literally your best friend on wash day. And take your time. Granted, this is a quick 10 minute routine but um you know it's still beneficial for your hair when you're making sure it's getting all the moisture that you need so um the next thing i'm going to go in with is my moisture boost conditioner again by the pantene gold series this stuff is super good um so much so that i use both the products together and basically i go in after the shampoo and i go in with the conditioner and um I work it through my hair as you see here now if you have noticed this is a quick wash day routine on my normal wash day which I'll do an updated wash day routine I typically separate my hair into four sections but since this is supposed to be a quick 10 minute routine for you to do maybe in the morning before you leave to go off to work or um, you know throughout the week if you don't feel like spending hours um, cleansing your hair and washing your hair uh, this is my go-to quick routine so um, I definitely think it's beneficial and um, it gets the job done so what you see me doing here I'm basically um, trying to clean the hair some of the hair up um, out of the shower it wasn't too much but it's just like annoying so I try to like scoop it to the side of the shower so I can pick it up when I get out with tissue um, so that's what you see me doing here all right, so enough of that. I am basically, after that, um, I let it sit in my hair for maybe two to three minutes. And basically, I uh, rinse it out afterwards. So in a little bit, you'll see me go ahead and rinse it out of my hair. I'm just showing you guys the amount of hair that did come out. Um, the little specks of hair is what I was trying to scoot to the side. And those were like very small little curly cues. Um, but that was the total amount of hair that came out of um, my head this whole entire wash session. So um, yeah, I, that, that, I definitely think this is pretty manageable and doable. Um, if you're one of those naturals that love to wash their hair in the morning before you go to work or you know, you just want a quick little wash day routine, that is this. Um, of course, you know, it may look different for you because you have your favorite staple products. However, for me, this is what it looks like for me and my hair is still moisturized. It's clean.
All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. This has been a successful apple cider vinegar rinse wash day for me. Um, and this is one of my lazy wash days, obviously, because it definitely took only 10 minutes. Um, so this is perfect for on the go in the morning if you want to get up a little earlier and shampoo your hair, condition your hair, and be able to go on about your business the rest of your day. Um, of course, I'm about to apply my leave-in conditioner and my cream and my oil. Um, I do follow the LCO method because I have low porosity hair. So um, it's definitely a quick way to make sure your hair is clean. Your pH balance on your scalp is um, renewed because essentially that's what the apple cider vinegar does, um, which helps prevent breakage and damage. And, um, and I've listed all of that stuff earlier on in the video. Um, but it's definitely a great way to quickly get your hair cleansed, to reset your pH balance in your hair, and you know, to go ahead and restore that moisture with your LCO or LOC method, whichever one works for your hair. Um, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, I might be doing a styling video soon, maybe a twist out or um, something of the sorts, so be on the lookout for that. However, this video is done, so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're gonna end up trying this, um, you know, lazy wash day slash um, very, I guess it's still a good wash day. It's just very quick. Um, to hit all the necessary points that you need. Um, but go ahead, yeah, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're gonna try this quick wash day routine. I like to call it my lazy wash day routine because my real wash day routine, at least at minimum, takes me about two and a half hours. So, and no one has time to do that, getting ready for work or before work. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.